In this video, I'm going to show you how Decroft has the best pocket presence in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do here on YouTube, every day I sit down and I break down different things that you can do to help improve your game on the virtual gridiron. So if you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button, I would highly encourage you to do that. Now, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Decroft. This is one of my favorite offensive players to study in the entire game. Um, he is so unique. I feel like he is one of the most unique players in the game. He does, especially on the offensive side of the ball, so innovative. And as a passer, he just does some things that most people would never, ever, ever, ever do. And so we're going to jump right in and talk a little bit about it. But Obviously, his full offense, U-Trips, is out of the New England Patriots playbook. Now, I've been running U-Trips for the majority of the season. I um, actually have a full ebook on the entire New England Patriots playbook if you want to pick that up in the description. If you want more on the U-Trips offense, there's ac I actually have a one-hour breakdown of that in my text message membership, which my cell phone number it will pop up on the top left-hand corner of your screen here in, s in a second. It's also in the description. But I just want you to watch, and, and, and right there is a really, really good example. I want to back this up and try to capture this, um, just try to show you what he just did, because this is just this is just brilliant. If you watch, watch what happens on this, watch his quarterback, just watch him. And this is this is what makes him so good. Like I, his his routes are really unique and awesome. But just watch, see that right there. Did you see that? Did you notice what he just did? You see the quarterback just freeze like that. He does this better than anyone. This is what I've been trying to talk about all season long with people when it comes to pocket presence. I think this is one of the most important things that you can do, and he does this perfectly. Um, I was actually in a chat one night. I think it was, a, it was in Civil's live stream, and I was telling him about this concept. I posted this video back several months ago um, when I found it, but basically what you do is a lot of pro players don't – they don't cancel the auto drop back. If you watch a lot of pro players play, they cancel it by holding their left joystick to the left or to the right. And that's one way to do it. But I don't think it's the best way to do it. And if you watch Decroft, when he's really locked in and when he's playing his best, you will notice that his pocket presence is absolutely insane. And so I'm going to show you two or three things that you can do to develop pocket presence like Decroft, including how to cancel the auto drop back um, from you know from 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 being an issue. So if you watch right there, there he does it again. You see that he's just he's up and then he's up in the pocket. And as you can see, when everything breaks down, he gets himself I think 11 yards on that play just based on having good pocket presence. So we're going to jump into practice mode and talk a little bit about this. Now, again, Decroft runs the New England ebook, so or the New England Patriots playbook. If you want my ebook on it, that link is in the description. So we're just going to go up against some random plays here. We don't really need the defense for this. Um, and I recommend practicing this in practice mode for, you know, about an hour, or not an hour, I'm sorry, for about um, 15 minutes a day. If you spend 15 minutes a day doing this, or just one game. Like what I like to do is I'll go into one game and I will literally just focus on pocket presence and you'll be surprised how much better it will make you as a Madden player. But we're just gonna pick any play. My favorite play in the game is Pat slot out. Um, and, and literally here's how you do it. It's really, really simple, but it's really, really difficult to master, okay? So the first thing that, the first tip that I have for you out of what Decroft does to improve your pocket presence is Double click the left trigger as soon as you snap the ball. And I'm going to hold my, my uh, controller up to the microphone and hopefully you can hear this. But literally I'm going to snap the ball and then I'm going to rapidly, and I mean super fast, double click the left trigger. So here's how it goes. And you see, do you hear that? And then I can stand up in the pocket. Now I want to show you the difference. I, that, that was me doing it the right way. I want to show you me doing it the way most people would tell you to do it. Most people would tell you to do this. They would tell you to hold the left joystick to the right or to the left pre-snap. So I'm going to go this way, and then you just do that, and then you and then you can step up in the pocket. That that's how you cancel the auto drive back. If you notice, 
what happens whenever you do that is you can't really like you can it just is not as clean it's not as crisp and it's honestly not as fast and in my personal opinion it actually takes your quarterback more steps to do that than to just do the auto drop back and step up in the pocket so that's one thing that I want to really, really highlight. This is really critical because this saves you so much energy, and it really is, I just think it's a brilliant way to do it. Again, we're just going to double-click real quick, and then, bam, we're able to throw the ball. Okay, so double-click the left trigger really quickly. You need to go into practice mode and practice this before you do it in a game. Um, it does take a little bit getting used to, but if you can get used to this, this is an amazing, amazing tip. Now, we're going to take it a step further and show you some of the intangible things that Decroft does naturally that a lot of people don't do, primarily because people are afraid to get sacked. What Decroft mentally, and I believe he's really decided to do this mentally, is he says, pre-snap, I am not worried about getting sacked. I don't care if I get sacked. What I'm worried about is not stepping up in the pocket. I'm going to literally force myself to get used to stepping up in the pocket. That's the mindset that you have to have to do this. I personally need to get better at this. I believe you probably do as well. And here's how you do it. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're just going to climb the pocket, climb the pocket, climb the pocket, climb the pocket. And then honestly, that's that mental clock of I've stepped in the pocket, and I can go. Now, you don't have to continue to go up, right? It's just really important that you go up some, at least at the snap, and then you kind of manage it as is. And you'll find that if you watch Decroft, when Decroft is playing his best, you can sack him, but you won't sack him for a loss of 10. If you sack me right here, it's a loss of one or a loss of zero yards. Sometimes it's even a gain of two or three yards to get sacked. That's what makes it special, and that's what the, the real, real big thing is. Now, you'll see, sometimes he'll take that, but that's a five yard sack as opposed to a 15 yard sack that's the difference in i think what makes decroft so special his ability to step up in the pocket and make reads is really what makes him special so again go into practice mode spend about 15 minutes a day work on this kind of just work on managing the pocket it's okay if you get sacked get used to it it's okay because remember this is a video game it's not real life sacks don't kill you right? It doesn't hurt. So, and, and I find myself, I have to get over that fear, fear because to be honest with you, you're used to playing football and you're used to, um, you know, as a quarterback, if you get sacked, it's not fun, right? Well, in Madden, it's not necessarily fun to get sacked, but it's not going to kill you, right? And so you have to become comfortable with that. Become comfortable taking sacks. Um, and and I really, I just really think it makes all the difference in the world. Now, one last tip that I have for you, and you see Decroft do this a lot. Um, I just think he has such good pocket presence. But one of the things is, like, if he knows he's getting sacked, if he knows it's coming, he'll just click um, hold left trigger and click the right joystick in. And by doing that, what that's going to do is it's basically just going to let him fall down so he doesn't take a sack. You see that right there? He just falls down. And the reason that's important is because that allows him to, you know, be confident and be willing to pass the ball in critical situations. And the reason why is because if it's not there, he's like, okay, I'll just take a sack. I'll just take a two-yard sack. That's fine. See that right there? That's that's what he will do in the most critical situations. So those are some those are like some really really high level uh, pocket presence tips. Um, and again. If it's, it sounds so little, it sounds so, so, so little, but I cannot express you. If you want to be an elite passer, you have to, and I believe you absolutely have to. I have to get better at this myself. I believe you do too. You have to develop good pocket presence. If you can develop good pocket presence, you will be amazed at what it will do for your passing. You will have so much more time to read the defense. They won't be able to just use your one or two routes. Your routes will become more open. One other little quick tip um, that I like to use is I, I will hold left trigger. Like when I'm in the pocket, I will hold left trigger until I'm ready to throw. Now, I don't want to hold it when I throw if I don't, unless I want to lowball it. What you'll find is if you hold left trigger when you're in the pocket, it will also help you significantly. It will help you not just kind of be as jerky in your movements. You're not going to be as jerky in your movements. So if you get a blitz, Here's one last tip that I have for you. Let's say that you get a blitz. You see I'm getting a lot of blitzes here. Then in that situation, you might not want to climb the pocket. You might want to stay right where you're at, right? But but eventually you will. Most pressures are edge pressures this year. And so if I get edge pressure, see like that? I get edge pressure. I'm just going to step up and away from the pressure. And I got myself several more seconds by doing that. 
these are little things that make such a big difference in your game. And most pressures this year are not going to come right up the middle. So that's where Decroft, you know, kind of defaults to climbing, climbing, climbing. You see that right there, and then I'm just going to go. But holding left, double-clicking left trigger at the snap, and then holding it, I think helps a lot with your pocket presence. And then obviously, if you need to go down, let's say you, let's say you could feel it or you see the sack coming at you, you know, you're climbing, 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 and then you just go down just by clicking the right joystick in. Those are some huge, huge tips. So I hope that that helps you. If you want to get Decroft's, uh, at least some of the concepts that he was running on offense, text me. I have a full breakdown of U-Trips. If you want to get my New England ebook, I think New England is the best offense in the entire game. And that link is in the description. Most people that have picked it up have said their offense has become completely unstoppable. So if you want the most unstoppable offense in Madden right now, go ahead and click that link in the description. Text me if you have any questions at all. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you guys on our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.